Nine, fifteen, seven, sixty. Albion, provisionally designated 1992 QB1. I'm the first trans Neptunian object discovered. After Pluto and Charon, I was uncovered. Discovered on August 30th in 1992, 15760. Albion showed up out of the blue. My discovery was made by astronomers numbering two. They were named David Jewett and Jane X. Lou. QB1 in my designation. I was named Albion after the mythology of the painter William Blake. Here's more about me. I'm 15760 Albion. Provisionally designated 1992 QB1. I'm the first trans Neptunian object discovered. After Pluto and Charon, I was uncovered. My affiliation is 47.042 AU. My perihelion is 40.809 AU. You can find me orbiting the sun beyond Neptune. In the Kuiper belt, I was discovered. You may learn more soon. I'm a large asteroid that'll never enter the inner solar system because I'm 30 times the distance from the Earth to the sun. There have been thousands of objects found since my presence was felt in the outer solar system called the Kuiper belt. 291 Earth years is what I take to orbit the sun. You can discover more asteroids when an astronomer you become. I have a mean diameter of 103 miles as shown. When looking at my mass, it is still unknown. I'm 15760 Albion. Provisionally designated 1992 QB1. I'm the first trans Neptunian object discovered after Pluto and Charon. I uncovered 174567 Varda here to introduce myself I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12 174567 Varda here to introduce myself a binary transneptunian planetoid from the Kuiper belt discovered on the 21st of June in 2003 I was provisionally designated 2003 MW12 you see the astronomer who discovered me on that day is jeffrey larson now let's get on our way i was discovered at the kpno which is the kit peak national observatory now you know the space watch telescope is what they used to see me one of the major telescopes in the observatory i was given the name of varda in 2014 after the creator of the stars and is the valar queen astronomers found one known satellite it was named imarar or varda one on the night it was discovered by keith s no a planetary astronomer at nasa you should know imarar was discovered in 2009 on april 26 but i don't know This orbit translates over 114,000 days in November 2096. It's my perihelion state. I'm a certain distance when I orbit the sun. 39.5 AU is my distance at perihelion. 52.7 AU is the distance of my aphelion. That's the furthest I orbit on my run around the sun. A binary transneptunian planetoid fell of the hot population in the Kuiper belt. I have a diameter of 430 to 500 miles. I'm still debated a dwarf planet all the while. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary transneptunian planetoid from the Kuiper belt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system, 
is where its presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt, extending from the orbit of Neptune so its ice doesn't melt. The Kuiper Belt is beyond Neptune's orbit, one of the largest structures in our solar system, I admit. It was discovered after Pluto was in 1930, but in 1992, direct evidence aimed it officially. The Kuiper Belt's a region of leftovers that are icy from the solar system's early history. This is thought to be one of the main sources of comets, but the Kuiper Belt is mainly made of icy objects. There's lots of objects here and also rocky effects astronomers generally accept as the known dwarf planets. Orcus and Pluto both exist within the Kuiper Belt. Haumea and Koror and Maki Maki also make their presence felt. There are hundreds of thousands of objects in the Kuiper Belt region that have been there since the solar system began. This region's 30 astronomical units or 50 AU from the sun. That's the estimated size of the Kuiper Belt on its icy run. The Kuiper Belt's a trans-Neptunian region in the solar system. It's smaller than the asteroid belt but much larger as it spun. This Kuiper Belt's named after the Dutch astronomer Gerard Kuiper, though he did not credit its existence, I am sure. The Kuiper Belt's far past Neptune's orbit, it's felt. But the Oort cloud extends even further, circling the Kuiper Belt. Lots of Kuiper Belt objects have moons that orbit daily. The most well-known are Pluto, Haumea, Quora, and also Aries. There are more than a trillion comets within the Kuiper Belt. Halley's Comet is the most famous on Earth, or presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where its presence is felt. This is a circumstellar disk called the Kuiper Belt, extending from the orbit of Neptune so its ice doesn't melt.
2018 AG37 is my name A trans-Neptunian object with a newfound fame I'm 28,978 Ixion Provisional designation 2001KX76 I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978-Ixion. I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. The outer solar system is where you'll find me. In the Kuiper Belt beyond Neptune, I can be seen. I was discovered in May in the year of 2001 by the CTIO. That's how this begun. I was discovered by the Deep Ecliptic Survey, a project to find Kuiper Belt objects. It's still going on today. James Elliott found me. He was an American astronomer. I'm classified as a Platino. That is for sure. I'm 28,978-Ixion, provisional designation 2001-KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978-Ixion, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt, a region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think... They will melt. I was named after Ixion from Greek mythology. Ixion was the king of the Lepids, the most ancient tribe you see. Though my name is 28,978 Ixion, my provisional designations 2001KX76. Have fun. 440 miles, that's my diameter in size. I'm fourth largest Latino in the night sky. My color is thought to be red, and I may be covered in ice. Hidden underneath my thick layer of organic compounds, how nice. I'm 28,978 Ixion, provisional designation 2001KX76. I'm a large trans-Neptunian object and possibly a dwarf planet in the mix. I'm 28,978 Ixion, I'm located in the Kuiper Belt. Region of icy objects beyond Neptune. I don't think they will melt. I'm 20,000 Varuna. I'm here to teach you correct. I was classified as a trans Neptunian object. I'm 20,000 Varuna. You can call me Varuna for short. I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. My name is 20,000 Varuna, I'm sure your eyes are transfixed. My provisional designation's 2000 WR106. I was discovered in December in the year of 2000 by American astronomer Robert S. McMillan during a space watch at KPNO. I have an elongated shape due to my rapid rotation as shown. I was named after the Hindu deity. Varuna is my name. Please say it back to me. I'm 20,000 Varuna. I'm here to teach you correct. I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object. I'm 20,000 Varuna. You can call me Varuna for short. I am oval in shape, and I'm here to teach and report. I'm a possible dwarf planet located in the Kuiper Belt. In the outer solar system is where my presence is felt. Info from my light curve says I'm a Jacobi ellipsoid. My elongated shape's due to my rapid rotation among the asteroids. My rapid rotation period is 6.34 hours. January 2001 is when it was first measured. The color of my surface is moderately red due to the complex organic compounds astronomers said 
Water ice is thought to be present on my surface Because of past collisions I was exposed Now you're learning this No natural satellites have been recorded around me yet But in 2019 I may have a satellite astronomer suggest I'm 20,000 Varuna I'm here to teach you correct I was classified as a trans-Neptunian object I'm 20,000 Varuna You can call me Varuna for short I am oval in shape And I'm here to teach and report My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks I got my name from the Romans, it means god of the sea My upper atmosphere has methane, that's why I have blue on me Hydrogen and helium are the rest of my atmosphere I have 13 moons with one still waiting to confirm it's here Minus 392 degrees an average day on me And my winds are the strongest than any planet in our system See, My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks About 165 Earth years makes one Neptunian year 57.7 Earths could fit in my giant sphere 2.8 billion miles is my distance from our sun One day on me is about 16 Earth hours of cold fun No life as we know it could survive on me I'm the fourth largest planet in our system, you'd have to agree My name is Neptune, the eighth planet from our burning sun I've got six rings made of dust and some rocky chunks This is the Oort Cloud, a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun. This is the Oort Cloud, which is a theoretical concept astronomers have spun. The Oort Cloud is the most distant region in the solar system. It's much farther than the Kuiper Belt. We're filling you with this wisdom. The Oort Cloud supposedly a giant spherical shell surrounding the rest of the solar system as you're propelled. There could be billions or even trillions of objects within the Oort Cloud. That's what NASA projects. This Oort Cloud could be the source of most comets. This is thought because of a comet's long period orbit. The distance of this Oort Cloud from your sun is estimated to be 2,000 to 100,000 AU on its run. One astronomical unit, or AU, is the distance between Earth and the Sun, like you see on your screen. This is the Oort Cloud, a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our Sun. This is the Oort Cloud, which is a theoretical concept astronomers had spun. The first description of the Oort Cloud was in 1950 by Jan Hendrik, or the Dutch astronomer you see. This Oort Cloud's divided into two regions you see here, a dish-shaped inner Oort Cloud and an outer Oort Cloud sphere. There's never been a confirmed direct observation of the Oort Cloud, so it continues to be speculation. This region's thought to have formed 4.6 billion years ago after the formation of the planets in the solar system, though. This is the Oort Cloud, a spherical layer of icy objects surrounding our sun. This is the Oort Cloud, which is a theoretical concept astronomers had spun.
Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other. Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event, the joy it'll bring is plenty. Alignments between Jupiter and Saturn are pretty rare. Only occurring around once in every 20 years. But this upcoming conjunction's exceptionally rare. Only because of how close we planets will appear. It said the last time this occurred was in medieval times. In the year of 1226 was the closest that we aligned. Alignments between these two planets happens once every 20 years. But this conjunction will be very rare because of how close we appear. We'll be aligning on the same day as the winter solstice. On December 21st, 2020, the whole world can witness this. If you live in the northern hemisphere, looking low in the southwestern sky, you can see it shining bright shortly after sunset with the naked eye. We'll appear extremely close for about a month ahead, but we won't make such a close approach again until the year 2400. Typically, Jupiter orbits the sun every 12 years. Saturn's orbit around the sun takes about 30 years. Every couple of decades, Jupiter laps Saturn in flight. Be sure to watch the sky December 21st in 2020 at night. Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other. Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event. The joy it'll bring is plenty. Jupiter and Saturn will come within 0.1 degrees of each other. Forming the first visible double planet in 800 years will clutter on the winter solstice, December 21st in 2020. Look to the night sky to see this event. The joy it'll bring is plenty. My name's Hygieia, minor planet designation 10 Hygieia, a dwarf planet candidate in the asteroid belt. It's nice to meet ya. Discovered by Annibale de Gasparisa on the 12th of April in 1849, I did teach ya. Discovered at the Astronomical Observatory of Caparamonte is where I was first seen. I'm located in the main asteroid belt between Jupiter and Mars is where I am felt. I do have a diameter of 270 miles or 434 kilometers all the while. I have a mass which is 3% of the total mass of the asteroid belt and the fourth largest asteroid by volume and mass in your system dealt. It's possible I'm a dwarf planet but no one knows for sure. So the IAU has classified me as an asteroid until they're assured. Observations with a very large telescope in 2018 revealed that I'm nearly spherical in which I'm so keen. I have a dark surface when observed from the Earth. This is because of my position in in the outer main belt, of course. I was named Hygieia after the goddess of health, which is a Greek goddess as well as Roman I tell. It takes me 2033 Earth days to orbit the sun at 16.76 kilometers per second. I come as close as 2.79 AU to the sun on my run and reaching as far as 3.49 AU from the sun. I'm 1.78 AU from Earth's orbit at my closest point. There's an extremely wide berth between Hygieia and Earth is my point. Hygieia's small main belt asteroid spectroscopic survey is observed with a 2.4 meter Hiltner telescope primarily. This mass 2 observation indicates I may contain water and iron but wait also nickel, ammonia, cobalt, and nitrogen. That's a lot of new information about me for the win. My properties are the least known out of the big four objects in the main belt humans have explored. This is
system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name is Mercury. I'm the second hottest planet, but the closest one to the sun. A year on my surface is 88 days. I'm the smallest, but lots of fun. My name is Venus. I'm the hottest planet, but the second planet from the sun. I'm the brightest planet in our solar system, and I'm too hot for anyone. My name is Earth. I'm the planet you live on, and the third planet from sun. I'm the only planet with organic life, so take care of me cause we're all one. There are eight planets in the solar system and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name is Mars. I am red in color. Sun. I have the highest mountain in our solar system, a volcano named Olympus Mons. My name is Jupiter, I am covered in clouds and I'm the fifth planet from the sun. My giant red spot is a raging storm, as for a size I'm the biggest one. My name is Saturn, I am brown in color. Six planet from the sun. My outer rings are extremely thin. They're made of dust and icy chunks. There are eight planets in the solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Join us to learn about the different planets. Now sing along and have some fun. My name's Uranus. I am blue in color, I'm the seventh planet from the sun. I orbit the sun once in 84 Earth years and was discovered in 1781. My name is Neptune, I'm also blue in color, I'm the eighth planet from the sun. I'm the last gas giant in our solar system and I'm also the coldest one. There are eight planets in the solar system And we revolve around the sun Join us to learn about the different planets Now sing along and have some fun You guys had your chance in the spotlight. It's time to talk about the dwarf planets in our solar system. Hit it, guys. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones My name is Ceres And I am a dwarf planet I'm the closest dwarf to the sun There's mysterious white spots on my rocky surface And I am the smallest one My name is Pluto I'm a dwarf planet and was the ninth planet from the sun. I am one third water in the form of ice and have five moons that are lots of fun. My name's Haumea. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations that I make. I take 285 years to orbit the sun because I am so far away. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system And we revolve around the sun Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt As far as planets, we're the smallest ones 
I'm Maki Maki. I have no atmosphere. I was discovered in 2005. I am one of the reasons Pluto lost his status, so naturally we do not jive. My name is Aries. I'm more massive than Pluto. I am big, but I'm lots of fun. 557 is the amount of years it takes me to revolve around the sun. There are five dwarf planets in our solar system, and we revolve around the sun. Four of us live in the Kuiper Belt, as far as planets were the smallest ones. Designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin. Now let's begin. An extreme trans Neptunian object in a sedoid in the outer solar system is what I am. I can't avoid. I was nicknamed the Goblin because of the TG in my name and because I was discovered near Halloween in 2015. October 2015 was when I was discovered by astronomers at the MKO is how I was uncovered. My discovery was made by Chad Trujillo, David Tholin, and Scott Shepard, you know. I was discovered using the Subaru telescope. They also probed with the Blanco 4M telescope looking out from the globe. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua is my official name. I have trouble saying it too. I never come within 80 astronomical units to the sun and I get as far as 2300 AU from the sun on my run. You think a year on earth is long? Well, mine is longer. I admit 35,760 is one year in my orbit. I have a very elongated orbit along with Sedna on my trek. Astronomers believe this orbit exists because of hypothetical planet X. I never come near the major outer planets. Astronomers have checked. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua. That's my name. It is true. My provisional designations 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin. Now let's begin. There's probably 10,000 small dwarf-like planets in our outer solar system beyond Pluto. Now isn't that fun? These dwarf-like planets are very small that makes them hard to uncover. With technology improving, you could be the one to discover. 541,132. Lalia Kuanua, that's my name, it is true. My provisional designations, 2015 TG387. I'm nicknamed the Goblin, now let's begin. 120,347 Salacia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004SB60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me I was discovered on September 22nd, 2004 By American astronomers, there were three for sure Their names are Henry Rowe, Michael Brown, and Christina Barcoon While working at the Palomar Observatory this is true. My provisional designations 2004 SB60. I'm a trans Neptunian object, as you can see. I'm located within the Kuiper Belt in the outer solar system, 850 kilometers in diameter. I'm spun 120,347 Salacia. I'm a trans Neptunian object. It's real nice to meet ya. My provisional designation is 2004 SB60. Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me. Located 44.8 astronomical units from the sun. I've been observed 124 times with recovery images on my run. My orbital distance is slightly greater than Pluto. I orbit 
272 years of this I will show. I was named after the Roman goddess Latia, you have learned. My radius is 281 miles as I turn. I have a single known moon named Actaea here. Its diameter is 190 miles as it appears. Actaea is one third of the diameter of me, you see. Michael Brown thinks I'm a dwarf planet, but it's debated theory. 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me 120,347 salatia I'm a trans-Neptunian object, it's real nice to meet ya My provisional designation is 2004 SP60 Listen to my song if you want to learn more about me. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU. We're the only ones. My name is Ceres. I'm the smallest dwarf planet and the closest dwarf to the sun. I'm the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter I run. Scientists think my bright spots are salty deposits made of sodium carbonate and ammonium chloride. I'm the only dwarf planet in the inner solar system and my surface is completely dry. Hello, I'm Pluto. I used to be the ninth planet in the solar system planetary mix. But when Eries was discovered, it had 27% more mass. The IAU demoted me in 2006. I've since been a dwarf planet in your solar system and have five moons that orbit me so nice. I'm thought to have a rocky core which is surrounded by a mantle of water ice. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU. We're the only planet and was discovered in 2004 at the Palomar Observatory by astronomer Mike Brown and I have two moons now here's some more my elongated shape is thought to be because the fast rotations that I make Located in the Kuiper Belt outside the orbit of Neptune and the third closest dwarf to the sun for goodness sake. I'm Maki Maki, the fourth dwarf planet from the sun, also located in the Kuiper Belt you see. Discovered in 2005 by Mike Brown and his team at the Palomar Observatory. I have one provisional moon, its name is MK2, it's about 13,000 miles from me. I appear to be reddish brown in color, but I'm so far away that you can barely see. My name is Eries, I'm in the Kuiper Belt, I'm the fifth dwarf planet from the sun. I have one known moon, it's named Dysnomia. Its orbit lasts about 16 days on its run. I'm the most massive, but the second largest dwarf planet after Pluto in the solar system. If you want to learn more about us individually, watch all of kids learning to planet videos at once. We're the five dwarf planets of the solar system in order from the sun. We're the five dwarf planets according to the IAU. We're the only ones.
William Quar and I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quarer. There is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. Now we're My orbit around the sun is nearly circular, you know. About 285 Earth years is one year on my surface, though. Astronomers think my color's moderately red, and that I'm 1250 kilometers in diameter, they had said. I'm about 6 billion kilometers from Earth. It would take 100,000 years to walk to me for what it is worth. Scientists were shocked to find signs of crystalline ice and ammonia hydrate on I'm a dwarf planet candidate in the outreaches of the Kuiper Belt where I orbit. My name is Quora, there is so much to learn about me as we adventure on our space journey on a sea. I have one known satellite, its name is way, way February 22nd, 2007, when you learned of it. Michael Lee Brown did discover my moon from images taken in February 2006. That I am 2014 UC224 I'm a new dwarf planet candidate Let me tell you some more I may soon be the smallest dwarf In our solar system Listen carefully More information is sure to come Located on August 19th in 2014 David Gertz and his student team Did discover me David Gertz led a team From the University of Michigan And that team had found me with Telescope with no intent. Cerro Tololo Inter American Observatory is located in the Andes in the country of Chile. That's where the Blanco Telescope is housed so it can see using the dark energy camera they attached to discover me. The dark energy camera was built to make a map of distant galaxies in the universe. Now, how about that? The team led by David Gertz that had discovered me. A small dot moving through space and found it was in debris. Way out in the Kuiper Belt is where I was found, you know. I'll tell you more about me first. Let's sing the chorus though. I am 2014 UC224. I'm a new dwarf planet candidate. Let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. come. I'll be the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system seen. I'm 330 miles wide, even smaller than Ceres. The second farthest body from our sun with a stable orbit. And I'm 8.5 billion miles from the sun, I admit. I take 1,100 Earth years to orbit the sun. That's a mighty long year on my surface while I'm being spun. The IAUMPC announced to the public I'm here on October. IAU Minor Planet Center will classify me. After that, I will be back to brag about it officially. There's a lot of possible dwarf planets in our solar system. There may even be another planet to discover it may come. I am 2014. 
14, UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. I am 2014, UC224. I'm a new door planet candidate, let me tell you some more. I may soon be the smallest dwarf in our solar system. Listen carefully, more information is sure to come. I'm Mikey Mikey, I have an official new moon. Let me introduce MK2 to all the world and you. Hello, I'm MK2, a satellite of Mikey Mikey. I was noticed one year ago, now an official moon I be. In the month of April in 2015 is when I was noticed by Hubble's Whitefield Camera 3. The Southwest Research Institute, led by Mark Boo, we are the first scientists in the world to ever notice me. I'm very hard to see because I'm in the Kuiper Belt and my charcoal colored surface certainly doesn't help. As 2015, 13, 64, 72, 1 is what I was provisionally designated, but not much fun. They officially new moon let me introduce mk2 to all the world and you hello i'm mk2 a satellite of mikey mikey i was noticed one year ago now an official moon i be it's estimated my diameter is 100 miles across that's an estimate only from a bunch of astronomers i'm 1300 times more faint than dwarf mikey mikey when a telescope thousand miles from my door planet so bright and i'm called a moon because i'm a natural satellite maki maki had what scientists thought were dark warm spots now they think it was me making those warm dots i'm maki maki i have an official new moon let me introduce mk2 to all the world and you hello i'm mk2 a satellite of maki maki was noticed one year ago now an official moon i be a mikey mikey i have an official new moon let me introduce mk2 to all the world and you hello i'm mk2 a satellite of mikey mikey i was noticed one year ago now an official moon i be My name is Ares, I am a dwarf planet, the furthest dwarf from the sun the humans found yet. On January 5th in 2005, the Caltech Observatory had brought me to life. A team led by astronomer Michael Brown, the biggest dwarf in mass is what they had found. They believe my surface is covered in nitrogen ice, but you'd have to visit me that's precise. In 2006, the IAU named me and gave me 
My name's Ame. Yeah, I am the third dwarf from the sun. I am oval in shape due to the fast rotations I'm spun. My name's Ame. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. I was spotted for the first time in 1801, by Giuseppe Piazzi, the Sicilian. I was named after the goddess of agriculture, the Romans gave me my name their time and culture. I am the smallest orbiting planet in our solar system. It takes 4.6 years for me to go around our sun. I am Ceres, the smallest dwarf planet, the closest dwarf to the sun, the star that we orbit. Yeah, I am Ceres, I'm in the asteroid belt, between Jupiter and Mars is where my presence is felt. NASA's exploring me with a space probe named Dawn, and found a crater named Arcator that had bright spots on. Nobody really knows why those spots are there, what they're from, but with all these scientists I'm sure the answer will come. In 2006 my status changed to a dwarf, before that I was a planet. And I was an asteroid I am Ceres The smallest dwarf planet The closest dwarf to the sun The star that we orbit Yeah, I am Ceres I'm in the asteroid belt Between Jupiter and Mars Is where my presence is felt Planets 
so there you have it. I'm a star called the sun I'm the center of our solar system You revolve around me As we fly around the galaxy All of the planets in our solar system They orbit while they follow me 230 2.1% hydrogen H2 and 7.8% helium HE. I'm a star called the sun. I'm the center of our solar system. You revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy. My core is 25 of my total mass and 27 million degrees my energy is the reason there is life on earth there'll be no charge cuz I'm totally free my mass makes up 99.8% of our solar system nothing in our systems hot as me I'm a star Sun. I'm the center of our solar system. You revolve around me as we fly around the galaxy. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly. Let's fly. Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary trans Neptunian planetoid from the Kuiper Belt. Discovered on the 21st of June in 2003, I was provisionally designated 2003 MW12UC. The astronomer who discovered me on that day is Jeffrey Larson. Now let's get on our way. I was discovered at the KPNO, which is the Kitt Peak National Observatory. Now you know, the Space Watch Telescope is what they used to see me. One of the major telescopes in the observatory. I was given the name of Varda in 2014 after the creator of the stars and is the Valar Queen. Astronomers found satellite it was named Imarer or Varda 1 on the night it was discovered by Keith S. Noel a planetary astronomer at NASA you should know Imarer was discovered in 2009 on April 26 but I don't know the time not take 313 years to orbit the sun and I will never enter the this orbit translates over 114,000 days in November 2096. It's my perihelion state. I'm a certain distance when I orbit the sun. 39.5 AU is my distance at perihelion. 52.7 AU is the distance of my aphelion. That's the furthest I orbit on my run around the sun. A binary trans Neptunian planetoid fell of the hot classical population in the Kuiper Belt. I have a diameter of 430 to 500 miles. I'm still debated a dwarf planet all the while. 
174567 Varda here to introduce myself. I have a provisional designation of 2003 MW12. 174567 Varda here to introduce myself. A binary trans Neptunian planetoid from the Kuiper Belt.